All right, Heather here wanted us to test the dude that she is seeing right now. We'll get all the details from her, but she already knows. She already knows that she's the mistress. She just doesn't want to be the mistress to the mistress. Do I have that right, Heather? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it sounds crazy hearing it out loud, but yep. All that's right, <laughs> so clearly you're not going to get a lot of fans, uh, not a lot of people <laughs> that are going to feel bad no. for you if we find out the results today or that this guy is screwing around on you too. But you wrote in your email that you felt like this affair was justified because their relationship is so bad. Yeah, I mean, he, he really laid it on thick. Um, <laughs> he told me that, you know, for the past dozen years, she's just been, you know, awful and, and bitter to him on a daily basis. And, and but she's this great mom. So, you know, she's not the, the woman that he married when they were younger. And she's this great mom, but she's just over. He says that she's clearly also over the marriage. OK, they're just waiting. They're just waiting for the kids to graduate. How long has this relationship between you and he been going on? Uh, almost two years now. Two years. And how long till the kids graduate? Uh, well, they're fifteen and sixteen, so you know we got, we got a couple. We got a little ways. So you're yeah. willing to stay in this relationship um, until that happens, and just take the risk that you know what this is more than just a fling. This is a full on yeah. relationship, and if that's our date, that's our date. Yeah, I mean, it took some convincing, <laughs> but he's he's much older than I am, so these are you know my prime years. And but you you know we get we get along great. And besides all the sneaking around, and I mean it's not like we can actually go out anywhere on an actual date. It has to be you know pretty covert. Um, besides all that, like when we're together, it just it, it feels right. So yeah, I have I have kind of accepted the fact that it's it's going to be like this for a little while longer. But there's, you know, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> so, And you're willing to do this so long as it's real. And for you, real means like you are the other woman, but there can't exactly. be another other woman. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like he absolutely, <clears throat> pardon me, he absolutely would not be okay with, with me seeing other people. And what so, makes you think there could be another other? Well, these past few weeks, it just, he's been canceling on me a lot, which he never does. And he's always had, you know, a, a wife or kid excuse, you know, family excuse. And, and I'm used to that. Like, that, that happens every now and then. I Dad, get it. Don't this you hate it when your boyfriend says he can't hang out with you because of his wife? It's annoying, I, uh, man. <laughs> it's what I signed up for, so I get it. Yeah. But it's his, I, you know, I have him on social media, and so I can see um, via pictures from, you know, like his, his I, okay, I, I look at his wife's obviously mm -hmm. his wife's Facebook and the pictures don't coincide with, with what he's saying for, you know, that particular day or even the next day It's like something's just up. I feel it in my gut. Okay. Um, and for you, this is a breakup. If he is seeing somebody, other, if he's seeing somebody other than his wife <laughs> and you, this thing is over. You are prepared yeah, to walk away. Done. Okay. It's done. It, it was, it was one of those things that I, I never expected to date a married man. <laughs> I don't think it's something that most people yeah. go for initially. I, I just really felt, you know, sorry for him. And I thought, who would do this to this great person? And, you know, he got me. But no, I mean, if you're seeing someone else, lesson learned, you know, done with him, never never feeling bad for a poor married dude again. Okay, so let's get into <laughs> the results here. So I think it is important now. Uh, do we have the names of the people involved yes. here? Clearly, we have Heather. But that's not her real name. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not my real name. No. Oh, I know her real name, so we'll be able to mm -hmm. decipher who the card was sent to, if it was sent to her or his wife or somebody else, the other other. Are we saying <sighs> what the wife's real name is, or we're not doing that? We're either? not. No. Okay. We're not doing that. No. Um, so we sent the fake promotional email to the address you provided for him. He's offered okay. a free bouquet of flowers, able to choose from several options with pictures, one being everything is a bouquet. Cheer anyone up with this bouquet of pink carnations, tulips, white, uh, I can never say this word, whatever, white stuff, and pink roses. <laughs> it could be like cocaine. No. <laughs> it's not like, why are they doing so cocaine? What's the word? <laughs> Anemones. Anemones. Okay. okay. Um, their day will instantly improve upon this bouquet's arrival. Uh, to bloom, it may concern. <laughs> a bright, bold mix of roses, lilies, snapdragons, and button pompons is the perfect bouquet to send any business colleague for any reason. I can't wait to kiss your tulips. <laughs> Dark purple tulips scattered with delicate white, white's baby breath. We'll have her thinking about what's to come. And then 
Bloom chicka bow wow. <laughs> Two dozen yeah. long stem roses are our most passionate bouquet for your one and only. So in exchange, ask to share some promo codes for a percentage off a of future order. Uh, we sent the first promotional email at 9.32 a.m. <clears throat> Didn't get a response. Followed up with the second email that went out at 11.33 a.m. And he did bite and he ordered flowers at 12.17 p.m. Now, Heather, we have your real name. Okay. I am sorry to say he did not send the flowers to you. Okay. We also have his wife's real name. Mm-hmm. And he is not sending the flowers to her. <sighs> he also chose the two dozen long stem roses. Mm-hmm. And the note on the card says, you make everything fun, thinking of you, William. And he sent them to somebody named Chelsea. Okay. All right, the, rea- okay. the reality here, though, and I'm, I'm trying not to be insensitive here, Heather, but... No. She cares the, about him, and she's got yeah, herself in a for sure, unfortunate you know? situation. Uh, but the reality yeah. of it, I mean, if he's got this track record, I know you wanted to feel like you're very special, he would only do this yeah. because he met you, and you guys have this connection, but, I mean, when you yeah. look at the dude's resume right now, this can't be utterly shocking to you. No, I mean, I really do love him, and that really, <laughs> that really, that really hurts, but... I know you're right. I mean, in my brain, my logical brain, I know you're right. And it's better um, you know now yeah. than to find out yeah. when he actually leaves. Then waiting three years for his kids to graduate, right? and then it was it's never going to yeah. happen. Yeah. Cut bait now, no, Heather. I'm already mad at the two years I spent. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. Can't you're do anything. Right. Can't do anything about those two years. All you can do no. is what's ahead of you, right? Right. And I'm way out of his league. Like, I felt bad <laughs> for this guy. Like, <laughs> screw him. <laughs> Well, there there's go. a couple of people taking your advice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right. I Why guess. did I have to? You didn't Why have did to. I, I didn't have to do you that. You didn't have to do that. Just because I'm bad at getting out of these. these, these. Yeah. Just, no, just let them. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. All right, Heather. Bye-bye. Bye. How was that? That, that was... The best you've done. <laughs> Burt Show. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? Well, you can get a lot more of The Burt Show for free on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts.